Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Dothack GU Volume 2. This is some type of artist, this is gonna be the last bonus episode for Volume 2 before I move on to, uh, to Volume 3. Um, so like last time, uh, I'm just showing off some stats and stuff of anything that I might have changed. Nothing really changed with the Sayo, but since Kuhn and Sakubau are our last, uh, two Epitaph users that we need to get the Lost Weapons for, I did just kinda wanna show what may have changed with them. Um, as you can see, we have Saku this time, which is just fine. I prefer having Saku around than Bo, to be honest. I don't know. Bo's personality and everything. In the story, I think I like Bo more, but in battle, I like Saku more. There, there's no real, like, it, it's not a huge deal or anything like it. I, I just think Bo's personality is, like, you know, nicer and cuter and whatever, like, story-wise. But, like, I'd rather have, like, an aggressive brat in my party for, like, actual battles. Um, but anyway, so we had to go and collect a whole bunch more Adler's Keys, and it doesn't take quite as long as I thought it originally would, um, because there are times when you when you find an Adler's Key, it counts for, like, two or three. So, but it, it's still kind of, like, I don't know. I kind of wished if they... I don't know, I, I wanted to say I kind of wish they introduced this part of the game earlier so you could spend more time collectors adler's keys or at the very least like maybe even like introduce the concept of finding adler's keys earlier but like not the lost weapons just so you can like get a head start on it because you find these like halfway through the game like past halfway through the game really and like you have like six characters you need to get weapons for and they all like increase like Hesayo was five and adley was 10 and kuhn was 15 or so, I, I don't remember the exact ones, but this is Coons here, and it's the same one, and, you know, that that's another thing, too, like, we're level 100 now, and this monster is, like, 20 levels weaker than us, so these, these next two fights are gonna go down pretty easily, but I thought I'd keep them in just in case, uh, I don't know, I, I really don't know why I did these, I guess for completion's sake. You know, I never really know what anybody's looking for on YouTube. Like, if they're looking for, like, a specific part of the game, they just want to see. Like, we're done already, so... If you came here looking for, like, boss strategies, if you're struggling this, this for whatever reason, sorry. I don't think you're gonna find it in this video, but... You will find, like, I don't know... Coon's, like, introspective little self-monologue. Yeah, I don't know. This is just more of just, like... Are you? Me? I see. The power was here all along. Other crap like that. Yeah, it floats right down to his oh, dick. I get it. So that's how you can power up. This weapon does kind of look cool. I like how it's kind of like this big bramble thorn kind of thing. The Silent Jade. And I forget what Coons does. I think it has something to do with his um, arts SP consumption. But I'm not really sure. So once we get out of here, we can take a look at what Coons' weapon's special effect is. So let's go to equipment. Go to Coon. Let's see. Silent Jade. It's a little weaker in physical attack, but increases critical hit rate by 25%, which is nice. And increases arts damage by 25%. I think that's appropriate for Kuhn, because it's like, it still kind of rubs me around the wrong way that Steam Gunners can only use their gun part of their weapon door using skills. So it's like, it's, it's kind of better that his SP is kind of done or reduced so we can use them more. Yeah, and that was the fourth phase epitaph users. We're not going to unlock that because we don't have the fourth phase epitaph user. So there was no real point in it here. I figured we'll just do it in the next volume. But, um, turns out it's already claimed in the next volume anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't know, even if you unlocked it, you can't really do anything with it. But, you know, I'll talk more about Adler's Keys in the next volume. In the next episode. But, um, it's Sakubo's turn now. I wonder what it'll be. Oh, it's this thing again. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, the, the video in this episode isn't going to be the greatest either. Like, it, it started hiccuping a lot. 
You know, and I, I, I was, I've been worried about this for like a while now. You it. guys know that, but like, we went through a lot of episodes without any kind of video like hiccuping or glitching problems with me, and I was like really happy about it. Um, I've been going through extra carefully before uh, doing the commentary just to make sure like everything's okay as it can be. But uh, and I was thinking, you know, maybe I can go back to how I was doing this when I first played it and just kind of like. You know, edited battles really quickly, and um, then uh, you know, just recorded right away. But instead of just like watching all the footage through and making sure it was okay. But now that this is happening, I'm like, okay, I guess I still got to take more time with it. So, oh well, we just got one more volume to go. It'll, it'll be fine. I don't know if there's like a different dialogue of bows in your party or not, but I guess I won't know for this playthrough. Oh, yeah, so like when you get all of them except for the fourth phase, Philo shows up again. So, you've helped me yet again. Aseo, whatever you do, don't lose sight of your hope or yourself being happy in the future. Good luck. Oh man, that was such a stupid old person voice. It sounded like an old woman instead of an old man. But like, I don't really know what's like happening here. I guess like Philo's real ghost came into the game to say goodbye to Haseo. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But like, with this scene showing up now, I feel like you're really not supposed to get the fourth phase weapon here at all. So, and I'm not really too bummed out that I didn't unlock it or anything. And you know, it costs 50 as well. Like, that's a lot. That, like, that's like a lot. It almost costs 50 just to do these two on its own. Thanks, but, Philo. Whatever. So, that's the end of Philo's little role in GU. I still don't really know why he was here, but... Anyway, so Sakubo's weapon increases elemental hit rate of attack spells by 25%, and increases attack spell damage by 25%, which is pretty awesome. Um, but... I don't know. Like, I mentioned before, like... Even though we got Sakubo as another Shadow Warlock, I still prefer using Gaspard, and I don't really know why. Like, I'm sure when you put the stats side by side, Sakubo is better, but like... I don't know, Sakubo just looks like a fragile little kid, and, and I just never really feel like... You know, there's a lot of, like, power behind him and her. Them, you could say. But, uh, since the lost weapons are taken out of the way, I figure just, you know, just, uh, hey, round things off. Maybe I have a few closing words for Volume 2. I can talk over this. Just gonna revisit the Vital Vistas and see where I actually came at with all their side quests. Um, the bike mission one is the only one I really, like, did much in. And they were really fun. Like, bike missions were such a fun part of Volume 2. Um, I kept most of it off screen here, but I did show it off earlier in the LP in case you, uh, missed it. I think one of them, one of the episode's titles is just straight up called Bike Missions, if you wanted to go and see what that's about in case you missed it. But, um, I'm glad they were here. I like them, do I like them better than the Grunty Races in the original series? I, I don't know. 
think I kind of like them both the same, to be honest. God, we got a lot. Oh, and we got all our books to at least the fourth rank. And that means we have another new perk our guild can unlock. And this one is actually one of the more useful ones. Um, we're going to check our mail in a little while. But, but um... So this new perk that we have, we can unlock the ability to transfer between um, the platforms in a... <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Uh, we can warp between platforms and fields and dungeons now. So like those little um, platforms that you warp in on with the blue spheres and where you go to to war war uh, warp out of. You can warp between them, and it doesn't sound like much, but it actually comes in handy, like, when you're in a dungeon and you're just kind of exploring for exploring sake, and... You know, I don't know. I guess when you use fairy orbs, none of this is really too important at all, but I chose not to use fairy orbs for this playthrough to try to keep things a little more interesting. Um... I don't know. Kind of wishing I did use them, though, so I can keep up the pace, like... Because I know a lot of these episodes have kind of been pretty boring because a lot of them are just like dungeons and it's the same dungeons and I have the same things I'm repeating over and over again. I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of debating what I want to do for Volume 3. I, I might cut a lot more out of like the gameplay and just kind of focus more on the story stuff. Because I feel like I I've pretty much said all I need to say about the gameplay many 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 times um and, and I don't know I, I don't really feel like I feel like I've kept a lot of this stuff in because I did want to show like how repetitive GU can be but I feel like after two games like it's kind of been proven so I don't know I mean I'm not saying I'm going to eliminate everything out of the gameplay but you know, I, I mixed up a little bit how I did, um, like, my editing in battles and dungeons and stuff like that. Like, in the first volume, I cut a lot of battles out, but, like, that left the problem with, like, still exploring a lot of dungeons, and that got repetitive, I felt. So then I kind of tried to, like, focus more on battles in Volume 2, and at some point in Volume 2, I kind of just did, like, an equal blend of both and just tried to, like, shorten my times in the fields in general, but, like... I don't know, since Volume 3, a lot of my big problems with Volume 3 does come with the story. I, I kind of want to make that Let's Play more about the story, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, I, I haven't really decided if I'm going to do something like that or not yet. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of playing with the idea. Because, like, I hate how repetitive I can sound about, like, you know, the same old shit again and again and again, because it's like, we get it, you know? Like, he, oh, I'm well aware. Um, I, I honestly don't mean to, like, keep saying it, but I, I guess maybe another personal thing I have is, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just having trouble to finding things to say when I'm, like, watching the same, essentially the same repetitive stuff over and over again. Like, I have a lot more to say about the story as we're going through the story. But, like, the gameplay, like, I, I don't know. Like, sometimes I kind of, like, think, like, oh my god, what am I going to talk about for, like, 20 minutes in this dungeon episode that I haven't already said, like, over and over, you know? Um, so, maybe that's just, like, a little insecurity of mine that I'm just kind of trying to find a way to get around. But I don't know. We'll see. So I'm trying to think, like, uh, what else would you want to see in, like, battles and dungeon exploration like that. Like, I'll, I'll try to show more about the new dungeons that pop up, at least for a little while. But, um, the only other thing I can think of is, like, new characters. And... You get a lot of new characters in Volume 3, but most of them come post-game. Like, I'm trying to think, like, when you get your first new character to use, and... Unless I'm forgetting someone, I think it's very late in the game. Hold on, I have a checklist here of something I was doing for uh, the post-game, and it has a list of all the uh, characters, the new ones, and yeah, it's all stuff that happens, like, towards the end of the game. So I don't know. But, 
we'll see. So Volume 2, I liked Volume 2 for the most part, compared to, well, Volume 3, I guess. Um, I, I don't know, it's always so hard to, like, talk about, because, like, would I say Dot Hack GU is a good game? I don't know. Would I say it's a bad game? No, not really, either. It's just kind of, like, I don't know. It's enter At this point in my life, with my current interests, it's entertaining enough, but, like, it does last way too long. Um, man, my video is just, like, so messed up. I, I really wish I had a little more control over when that happens, but whatever. Ugh. Man, I'm kind of fading. <laughs> you guys just want to watch the say, oh, dick around Mac Andy for the next three minutes without me talking? Two minutes without me talking? Nah, I'll try to find something to say. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I was kind of hoping, um... I could chat with some more people about their experiences with Dot Hack during the time this little play is up. Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to, like, draw attention to it or anything, but, like, I, I did, um, this is the first time I'm doing a Let's Play in, like, a really long time. I made a few, um, series, like, a few years ago, but I took them down because I was, like, nervous about, like, the whole copyright rumors and everything, like, destroying channels and stuff and blah blah blah. I don't know, I got nervous and I stopped, so I made this channel now just to, like, put GU up just for fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I know, like, I, it's essentially a beginning YouTuber kind of thing, and I wasn't really expecting anybody to, like, jump on as I'm doing this. Like, my main goal is to just, like, to give, like, another person's opinion about .hack GU and have it up on YouTube, so whoever can find it in the future can, like, take what they will from it. Um, but I don't know. I guess I was kind of hoping for, like, like a couple of comments, at least, about the series. Just, I don't know. I, I really would like to have, like, a discussion about Dot Hack GU and what other people specifically like about it, what other people don't like about it how they think it fares compared to the first generation, but I don't know. Having a civil conversation in the YouTube comments kind of seems like wishful thinking. Not unheard of, but like, eh, whatever. These are all my thoughts. Take what you will from them. Oh yeah, and just, just to let you guys know, again, because I said I would, um, there is the first episode of Dot Hack Roots up on the movie player here. I thought that was a cool little touch. Not gonna lie, that, that was a cool little touch they did. They didn't have to do that, but they did put a whole episode up in case you want to check out Roots. Um, but yeah, so... Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for Volume 3, and, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs>